Saber Papa, a holistic nutritionist and healthy eating fanatic from NutritiousAmerica.com. Today we're going to have some fun with artichokes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's cheesy artichoke time. So we're going to make a cheesy artichoke dip. And yes, even a nutritionist needs a little indulgence sometimes, and this is my indulgence. So I'm starting with um, some mayonnaise. I'm actually starting with veganaise. It's, um, it's a vegan mayonnaise, and honestly, the reason I use it is because I think it tastes better. And there's only four ingredients, and they're all natural. That's why I like it. So that's the base, and that's a half of a cup of veganaise. And then I'm gonna use Greek yogurt. So I have lightened this recipe up a little bit, but I did not skimp on the cheese part. I just skimped on some of the other parts. <laughs> so a quarter cup of 0% fat Greek yogurt. I'm sorry, a half, a half and a half. Half of everything. Half of a cup of grated Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay. I mean, that's pretty much all you really need right there, right? <laughs> Just some parm, a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay, now artichokes, of course. So this is a 14-ounce um, can of artichokes drained really well. Make sure to squeeze the liquid out of them and then chopped up small. You can certainly throw them in the food processor to chop them if that's easier for you. Okay, then we need some garlic powder for a little bite. and a lot of black pepper because I love it. We really don't need salt because of all that, all that Parmesan. So this is the base of it. Gonna go into our baking dish and then the magic's gonna happen. Just you wait and see. Okay. So spread this out. Now, just to be certain that this still has all of the oomph of a cheesy artichoke dip that you're looking for, I am going to add more cheese. I'm gonna add a really luscious, amazing cheese. It's called uh, Fromage Dauphinois. This is a double cream um, cheese. It's really, really luscious and ooey gooey. It's similar to brie, but a lot milder and runnier, which works for this application. So I'm gonna take little dollops and just sort of dollop it on there and then I'm gonna bury it, just like in a sandbox. If you can't find fromage dauphinois, you can definitely sub goat cheese. The goat cheese is going to have more of a bite, but it works perfectly fine in here. If you don't wanna use goat cheese, worst case scenario, you can use cream cheese but it's not gonna have all the lusciousness of this. So I'm literally just going to do a couple of dollops throughout. And this is that sort of hidden surprise. When this gets baked, this gets just so ooey gooey throughout the whole dish. And everyone says, what's that? Why is this artichoke dip better than any I've ever had? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna like bury this cheese, literally. Just use your hands here. No one needs to know, they're clean hands. A little treasure hunt. Then this is going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for just about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes. You want it to be bubbly and start to brown on the edges and then you know that it's done. So this is our cheesy artichoke dip. Thanks for watching. I'm Abra Papa from NutritiousAmerica.com. Have a delicious day. Mm -hmm.